on to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern right here that we are going to use so i am taking my black micron pn for this and um i was actually thinking of doing it in this place right here but it might be better in a smaller space um let me take this one so this one is actually made of kind of a orb that goes in with uh, a tiny string like that and then it goes from that and now my uh, iPad turned off that's not good I need that ah sorry about that so it turns in and then it goes from this one and then back to the side so you get kind of a um, a wave in your orb okay let me try that again so first you make kind of an orb and from the side you go in with uh, this uh, tiny hook like that and from the hook you go out to the side or from the side you go out to the hook like that and then you can um, thickening thicken this side here if you want to the sides of the orbs if you want to to make it a little more bolder and that's a pattern so it's a orb where you go in with the hook and from the opposite side you go in with another hook and again you can thicken off the sides here if you want to let me make one more going in with a hook and from the opposite side with another hook I have space for at least one more here going in and from the opposite size side there we go and thickening and I don't actually have that much room let's see if I can make a smaller one and then this shape uh, there we go that did not turn out that well so I'm just gonna place a few orbs here and there to fill out the space and if the orbs are big enough you can try to place a pattern in there It's a cute pattern, but I don't think I'm that good at it. Uh, but now we tried it, and that's good. I can have one here. There we go, an orb and an orb. There we go. Um, let me take my orange, I think. 
yeah let me take the orange um i'm gonna place a smaller orb in my in my empty orbs here so i'm not filling out the orb i'm just placing a smaller orb inside There we go. I like that. Uh, let me take my white charcoal and um, I'm gonna place a tiny bit of white here in these patterns. It reminds me a bit of a yin yang, yin -yang symbol and I'm just gonna use my totillon to soften it out. There we go, I like that. I'm going to make a um, pillowing effect here on this one. So I'm just gonna follow along the outer sides of the patterns. Or, or the pattern right here so I'm just gonna go up the lines here and also this border out here just following the line like that taking my tortillon for the graphite And making it into a nice pillowing effect here. There we go. I like that. I've got a little shadow here that I don't want to have here. So you can always erase if you get your shadows in places you don't want them. Even though that we really don't use an eraser for Centangle, we can use it here and there as well. Um, so that was the pattern for today. It actually looks pretty neat right there. Um, that was this pattern right here. So thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.